Hi. Uh, yep, my name's Mark. Um, easy enough. Well, quite easy. It does cause trouble. My name's just a noise, basically. Mark. It's amazing how hard it can be. If you hear someone in the street go, ah, sounds like Mark. You know, <laughs> someone in the street goes, oh, I'm going to go to the park, do some drugs. Again, you hear, Mark, fancy some drugs. You know, it's so easy. Uh, it's, um, it's amazing, actually, being on the television, what you can and can't say. You, you have to be very careful with language. Anything, you know, the F word, no, no, even the, rude, the one that's ruder than that, the C, oh, you can't go near that. It's funny, really. It's funny how certain words get people angry. The uh, so-called C word, oh, makes people shiver. Really, of course, it's just a word. It's no different from saying frisbee, really. Um, <laughs> of course, the context makes a difference. <laughs> Had a bit of a mix-up in a park once. But it's, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's the same thing, isn't it? Uh, I've got a wife. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> that's not one of the jokes, actually. That's a comment. Uh, that's an actual autobot. I have. She's a proper woman. I, you know, I got her fair and square and everything. It's great. It's, um... The only thing is when you're sort of a person who... You feel a bit lucky. I feel a bit lucky to have got a wife. And, um... Oh, this is going to sound really sentimental, but I don't want her to die or anything. I really, um, I know, romantic fool, but I just sort of feel like um, I sort of married above myself a bit. I kind of, it was a bit of a fluke. I don't think I could re-recruit, if you see what I mean. I really feel like this is kind of it. And maybe some of you will know what it's like when you have someone you love so much that you live in paranoia that they might be dead. It's really tiring, to be honest, you know. <laughs> If I send her a text and she doesn't reply, after about 15 minutes, I think, oh, she's probably died. And it does, you know, <laughs> having to wake them up in the night to check they're still breathing. Or, you don't always get the thanks you deserve, either. <laughs> Do I look dead? Uh, no, angry, if anything. She even... Um, alive, though. She even, um... She flew to Spain recently with mates, and I wasn't there. So I was there on the website, um, refreshing the page. You know, you can track the flight. And it says, in the air, in the air, landed. I couldn't relax till it said landed. Even though I don't know how accurate a guide it is, really. Imagine if there is a problem, they don't just change it to crashed. Oh, so, um, it doesn't just go from in the air to turned into a fireball and then a frowny face. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> or one of those little icons with a tear coming out of it. But there you are. It's probably not worth being that paranoid. Quite often in life, you find yourself thinking, what would be the worst possible thing I could do now? You probably know what it's like to be strongly tempted to do something. If, for example, we've all probably had the situation where you're walking over a bridge, you've got your keys in your hand. For no reason you start thinking, imagine if I threw them. I won't, <laughs> but I could. I could throw them. And the more you think it, the more overpowering the temptation. I could throw... I could actually throw them. I'm going to throw them. I'm going to throw them. Yep, in they go. Oh, I've lost a few sets of keys that way. The, um... <laughs> The worst thing I've ever done, just because the temptation was too strong, was I once kicked a man. And uh, there was really no reason for it at all. No justification. I couldn't get past him. He was wheeling this suitcase really slowly. I couldn't quite find a way to dodge past him. And it just came into my head, imagine if I kicked him. And uh, again, you start thinking, imagine if I kicked him. Well, I mustn't kick him, but I could kick him. I could kick him. Maybe I will. Yep. I'm gonna... And I walked along for the final few yards thinking, I believe I'm going to kick this man now. And, uh, and in the end, I just kicked the bugger quite hard in the back of the leg. And as I was doing it, I remember thinking, what else could I have done, really? <laughs> and the guy swung round. He looked pretty annoyed, really. <laughs> All I could think of to say was, I've kicked you! Which, uh, <laughs> not an excuse, really, more just a summary of the events. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's another thing you do when you're a comedian. You quite often say things out loud, because that's my whole job, really, just to say what I'm thinking. But it's not a very good habit. What, in Edinburgh, in fact, I had one of my most embarrassing moments, um, just where there's a cash machine on the bridge there. And I was behind this guy, and he was checking his bank balance. And of course, you're not meant to look, uh, but I did, of course. And uh, uh, it was you know, thirty thousand pounds. Your balance is thirty, just in his bank account. And I was so amazed, I blurted out, "You've got loads there." And, uh, <laughs> the guy swung around. Bit of a hard one to explain. <laughs> oh dear me. Well, uh, it's quite. It's gone sort of quite well, really. You certainly. It's gone fairly well, I think. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't fancy doing this at all. A lot of people think it's brave. Even to, people are always saying that, oh, you're so brave. And in fact, I'm not. I'm the least tough uh, member of my family. My, uh, my dad's a big, tough guy. My granddad killed a bear once with just his hands. Literally amazing. It was a bit of a fluke, to be fair. Um, <laughs> the bear was looking the other way and he pushed it over a cliff. So it was sort of, um, you know, it was more of a tactical victory, really. And compared with that, I've got no history of heroics at all. In fact, I've done nothing but... People always... A nurse even said to me, Oh, what you do is so brave. Which is an amazing thing to say. Nurses are much more brave. Than, imagine being a nurse, having the courage to give hope to sick people. I'd be terrible. If someone said to me, Look, just tell me, am I going to die? Am I dying? I'd find it very hard not to say, You do look pasty, yeah. <laughs> I, um, 
put it this way, I wouldn't begin watching 24 now. And you, uh, <laughs> you can't do that if you're in <laughs> Don't buy a box set. Um, it's amazing. I even had a guy say to me, wow, you're the bravest man I've ever met. Right, it was incredible. And this guy himself was a bungee jumper, it turned out. And he had bungee jumped for charity, naked, um, off South Pier in Blackpool. I think, what? Which one of us is brave? I would never in a million years go to Blackpool. So, yeah, <laughs> it's all about perspective. Anyway, that's enough from me. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks very much. My name's Mark Watson. Bye. <laughs>